Hello my friends and welcome to this distance Reiki session, distance energy session for burnout. This is based on one of your requests and I wanted to honor that here because I feel like this subject, burnout, keeps coming up. I think something about it is, I think, going to resonate here. I have a sneaky suspicion because usually when things come up a few times in the collective, it'll come up a lot. So I felt called to do this now. I hope that you're doing as well as possible. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anna and I'm a Reiki Master Practitioner. I love ASMR and like, like many people, I think the two pair really well together. So, I'm going to borrow from my Reiki Master teacher, Luninate. <laughs> I'm going to use one of these um, incense matches. She's the only other person I've seen use these. Okay. These ones are sandalwood. So if you're experiencing burnout, then I'm glad that you're coming here to seek a little bit of a respite from whatever it is that you're exhausted by, you're worn out by. That's, I think, the first step is recognizing that we've got something going on here that doesn't feel in alignment. So I'm going to use this to just do some general clearing. There we go. So just very gently clearing the energy here. Clearing and cleansing, clearing and cleansing, gently clearing. I hope you're doing as well as possible. So inviting in this nice, clear energy as we do this energy work here. It's nice to just start things off with a clean slate. I'm going to draw the symbols outside of your heart center. Lovely. I'm going to let that just kind of slowly smoke away here. And I'm going to light a candle and set our intention. We'll open this foil back up again. So if you have been experiencing burnout, how long has it been going on? Are you feeling a little bit less able to enjoy your kind of free time? Are you taking things home with you as it were? How is it affecting you in what way? Feeling wiped all the time, uninspired. I'd love to hear if you are experiencing that, kind of the ways in which it's manifesting itself in your life. I think it's different for everybody, but I would love to hear how how you're moving through it. So we've lit our candle and we're just gonna set our intention here. 
on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self, in loving comfort and perfect balance, I wish to conduct this distance Reiki session for healing burnout, re-energizing and cleansing any energy that feels stuck or held. Now, if you would like to clarify or specify or even set your own intention based on what you're moving through at this time, feel free to do so now. And if it's in service of your and everyone else's highest selves, we'll honor that intention. I'm going to place this here just to crackle away throughout our session and I've got a little bit of spray that I'd like to use here this is a rosemary and tea tree spray I wanted a lot of menthol in this one this is a really great time for rejuvenating tools and Anything that feels supportive of that kind of rejuvenating energy is great to invite in at this time. But I think burnout is an interesting thing. Like many things that we move through, many challenges, it can be a great teacher. It can teach us about our heart and our soul's purpose teach us about our alignment energetically what's going on taking a pause having that kind of hanged man moment where you are just taking a moment taking pause looking at things from a new perspective instead of just kind of bulldozing through go 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 keep going move fast or get out of the way kind of energy instead of that maybe do get out of the way maybe step out of the race for a second and just take a breath see what it looks like from the other side on the outside <laughs> see what that looks like to you what it feels like take stock of yourself when you're not engaging in that, whatever it might be that you're feeling burned out from. Obviously, if you're experiencing severe burnout, I think it's really important to speak to a mental health professional. But in terms of the spiritual work that we're doing here, it can be a great opportunity to start to learn a little bit about what fires us up. So in particular, I really want to focus on the zeal chakra, the back of your head. I'm going to spray here to your right. Zingy. Zing and a pep. To your left. Down at your feet. And above your beautiful head here. Glimmering light cascading down. I love menthols. So I'm just using the properties of this essential oil, running that through your aura. We're just going to start to kind of fluff a little bit.
with the zeal chakra in the back of your neck here. Just put it out right in the back of your neck. That is kind of our, as the name would suggest, the point of passion, that fiery energy. This can be a great way of connecting with what you want, igniting the flame of your creativity and your inspiration, especially when it comes to expressing that. This connection here to the throat chakra. It winds up our back, winds up our spine, this energy, and then it comes out there, supported here by the throat chakra. So there's a very um, beautiful connection between throat and seal. It's a very coiled kind of energy. And so when we are blocked in some way in that area, I think that can lead to feeling burnt, you know, burnt out on whatever it is that we're doing, it can make us feel a little bit disconnected from our sense of purpose, our sense of self. And obviously there are different chakras that we would want to focus on as well for this kind of healing. Solar plexus, sacral for sure, throat chakra. Really balancing all of our chakras here is going to help because burnout affects us in so many different ways. But we're going to start there, and I'm going to invite in this Shivalingam, Shiva, 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 Shivalingam. It's a great zone of balance, balancing yin and yang energies. It's a great zone for balancing masculine and feminine energies. It's a great stone for inviting a balance between the upper and the lower chakras. You could use this or smoky quartz, but I just think it's a really, it's a beautiful stone with that gorgeous sense of real alignment. So I'm going to move through drawing the symbols. We're just going to be really kind to ourselves through this. I think one of the most important things that you can do is just to rest and invite in some compassion for yourself here. It's not always possible for us to step away and take a break for an extended period of time, but maybe just right now. Take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. And just give yourself permission to just relax. Release what you can. Relax. Sometimes we just need a little bit of rest. And sometimes that's really what it takes. Not to kind of heal ourselves fully, but to recognize the way that we feel about something. And sometimes it's a great time of reflecting on what we want to be doing what we want to be engaging in. And if we come out on the other side of this either mini or longer hibernation and we realize that we want to reevaluate and do things a bit differently, change things up, then we can start taking steps in that direction even if it's a process, which it probably will be. But just give yourself a minute. Take a breather. Take a breather. Give yourself permission. If you're feeling burnt out, it's important to give yourself permission to 
Just take a breather, okay? Yeah. Take a breather. We can get so caught up in what we should be doing that we forget what we want to be doing. So just remember that that's important. Really important. What you want and what you need and what you're experiencing is super important. So let's not forget that. Gorgeous. I'm going to place this here in your hand. Like that, is that okay? Alright, just like that. And we're going to invite this energy just moving in through your aura. Just moving in. Coming up and down and around. Just inviting this beautiful flow. wrote a night, a great stone of acceptance and forgiveness. Sometimes we just need to accept where we are. Hopefully if you've clicked on this, you can accept that you're experiencing burnout. And forgive ourselves for where we are. Sometimes that's all it takes. That's all we need. And then this Kumbhava Jasper for inviting in a sense of flow and support. And this sort of support in a time of transformation. So we're just moving these through. Moving these through. Acceptance, forgiveness, and support, and flow. start by placing my hands just outside of your hips. Just placing my hands here. Sending support and healing energy into the root chakra. my hands on your sacral, two to three fingers beneath your belly button, sending this warm radiant light into this area of creativity and inspiration. Now I'd like to link this area with the zeal chakra. 
placing one hand behind your neck at the very base of your spine here. Excuse me, at the very base of your your skull, <laughs> your head. And then my other hand right on your sacral there, on your tummy. So placing my hand back here. Just very gently. Right there at the base of your spine, of your, of your neck. Lovely. Pulling some of this energy out from the zeal. Placing my hands on the solar plexus. Two to three fingers above the belly button. touching you on the back and in the front, just hovering outside of this area. Lovely. Now for the throat, I'm going to place one hand again, hovering outside of your throat chakra. And the other hand just in the back by your seal chakra. Lovely. I'm going to place my hands on either side your neck here very gently. Just inviting the pads of my fingers to send a lovely healing light into this space. As this light enters, it clears any blockages in its way. Clears the path. Placing my hand right on your third eye. Lovely. And now on your crown, placing my hands right on the very top of your head. Like that. Okay. Gorgeous. I'm gonna use 
there's this tiger's eye just for a little boost of confidence a little boost of fortitude and moxie here can we invite in a sense of belief in your the, in the beauty that is you that sunny vibrant energy that can pour out of you let's invite a little bit more of that into this space here so kind of pulling this energy up from the root and then just inviting it up 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 so how can we invite more confidence here Maybe you aren't feeling valued by yourself or others. How can you invite more of that in? Make your needs known. Make your wants known. Connect with your sense of purpose. Connect with that higher alignment with your future self? How can you be more kind and supportive of yourself? So I just want to boost, boost, boost. a little bit of fluffing here more than anything I think burnout can just leave us feeling a little bit sort of grey we want more vibrancy in our lives but it can just make us feel so tired and Gray. I don't know how else to say it. So fluffing your aura, inviting in that sense of saturation, adding a little bit more life and color here, okay? Gorgeous. You are divine. You are connected. You are expressive. You are passionate. You are loved, you are strong, you are creative, and you are emotionally balanced. You are safe, you are grounded, you are protected. Let's do one more spray. of your day or night take care of yourself, okay? try to give yourself little things that you want or need if you can't do those big things right now want something small that you might need even a little stretch <laughs> watch an ASMR video cuddle with someone or a cat or just give yourself a squeeze be kind to yourself and until I see you again be so well
that always happens when I'm trying to do it like a piano. Perspective. Maybe your perspective on things is a little clouded at the moment. I'm not sure if that resonates with you, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting here. I love metallic sounds. There's like clicky clacky sounds. But it does have kind of a funny smell. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I first used it, I was like, is a really great spiritually aligned stone can help with clarity mental fog really helps us see soberly invite some more mindfulness and some of this energy work that we've been engaging in <laughs> 